Lesson 4.3, Break Apart Add-Ends as Tens and Ones. We can break apart add-ends to add their tens and ones. We write each add-end as the sum of its tens and ones. We find the sum of the tens and the sum of the ones. We find the total sum by putting them together. So this is what I mean. We write each add-end as a sum of its tens and ones. 27 is 20 plus 7. That's the sum of its tens and ones. 15 is a 10 plus a 5. That's the sum of its tens and ones. We find the sum of the tens. 20 plus 10 is 30. And the sum of the ones. 7 plus 5 is 12. And we find the total sum. We have a 10 and two ones. We add the tens as a 30 plus that 10, that's 40. We have the two ones left over. It's equal to 42. 27 plus 15 is equal to 42. We can write a number as its tens plus its ones. 29, we have two tens, nine ones is 20 plus 9. 32, that's three tens, two ones, is 30 plus 2. 67, we have six tens, seven ones. 67 is 60 plus 7. We break apart the add-ins to find the sum. 59 is five tens, nine ones. We write it as 50 plus 9. 14 is 110, four ones. We write it as 10 plus 4. We add the tens. 50 plus 10 is 60. And we add the ones. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. We have 60 plus 13. And 60 plus 13, the 13 is a 10 and three ones. We add the 60 plus that 10 and get a 70. Then we add the three ones that are left over. 60 plus 13 is easier to add than 59 plus 14. And 59 plus 14 is equal to 60 plus 13, which is equal to 73. Here we have 34 plus 47. 34 can be written as 30 plus 4. 47 can be written as 40 plus 7. We add the tens. 30 plus 40 is equal to 70. 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. Now we have 70 plus 11. And 70 plus 11, the 11 can be broken into a 10 and 1, 1. 70 plus 10 is 80. We add the 1 that's left over, and it's equal to 81. And 70 plus 11 is easier to add than 34 plus 47. We break each add-in into tens and ones. Tens plus ones. We add the tens together, then we add the ones together. 49 plus 13. 49 can be written as 40 plus 9. 13 can be written as 10 plus 3. We add the tens. 40 plus 10 is 50. We add the ones, 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. Now we have 50 plus 12. We regroup 12 as 110, two ones, then add. We have 110, two ones for our 12. 50 plus that 10 makes 60. We add the two that's left over, it's equal to 62. That means 49 plus 13 is equal to 62. Mr. Kim planted 17 tomato plants. Mr. Lee planted four more than Mr. Kim. How many tomato plants did Mr. Kim and Mr. Lee plant? We think we need to find how many they planted in all. We can circle the important information. Mr. Kim planted 17. Mr. Lee planted four more than Mr. Kim. 
So that means Mr. Kim is 17, Mr. Lee is 17 plus 4 more. 17 is a 10 plus 7. We can do this 17 as a 10 plus 7, and we can add the 4 more. 7 plus 7 plus 4 is equal to 18. 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. Now we have 20 plus 18. The 18 is a 10 plus an 8. We add the 20 plus this 10 and get 30. We add the 8 that's left over, we get 38 plants. Mr. Kim and Mr. Lee planted 38 plants. Mrs. Kim baked 46 lemon cookies. The rest of the cookies she baked are chocolate. She baked 78 cookies in all. How many chocolate cookies did she bake? So we think we need to find the difference between 78 cookies in all and the 46 lemon cookies to know how many are chocolate. We need to find 46 plus some number is equal to 78. So we can add three tens to the 46 to get close. Then we can add ones to get to the 78. 46 plus three tens, which is 30, would be 76. Now we need to find 76 plus some number is equal to 78. If we add two more, it will equal 78. 76 plus 2 is equal to 78. We added 30 plus 2, that's 32. There's 32 chocolate cookies. And we can check to make sure we got the right amount. We can add 46 plus 32 to see if it's equal to 78. 6 ones plus 2 ones is 8 ones. 4 tens plus 3 tens is 7 tens. Yes, it's equal to 78. We got it right. Sarah used 35 pink beads and 19 green beads to make a necklace. Show how we can break apart the add-ins to find how many beads Sarah used. We can circle the important information. There's 35 pink. There's 19 green. We need to find how many beads she used, so we need to add them. 35 plus 19. 35 is 3 tens, 5 ones. Do you know how we can write 35? We need to write 35 as the sum of its tens and ones. We write it as 30 plus 5. Do you know how we would write 19 as the sum of its tens and ones? If you said 10 plus 9, you're right. Now we add the 10s. 30 plus 10 is equal to 40. 9 plus 5 more is equal to 14. Now we have 40 plus 14. We added the 10s. We added the 1s. We regrouped the 1 here as a 10, and we have a 4 1s. 14 is 10 plus 4. We added the 40 plus 10 and got 50. We added the 4 that was left over. We got 54. We split the 35 into 30 plus 5. We split the 19 into a 10 plus 9. When we added the 10s, then added the 1s, we had 40 plus 14. The 14 is 110 for 1s, so we can put this 110 into the 10s place. And we can add them like this. 4 plus 0 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. It's equal to 54. Be very careful as you break apart the add-ins into their 10s and 1s. Make sure you're using the correct numbers. In our next lesson, 4.4, we're going to model regrouping for addition. And 
Have a wonderful day, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.